Hey, this is Vince Omega, and today I'm going to be playing Realm of the Mad God. It's being toted as the first and only um, bullet hell massively multiplayer RPG. Um, which I guess is somewhat true if you don't count the Dreamcast MMO um, Armada. But, yeah. So, I just saw this on stream. And knows it was a free to play game, so I figured I might as well download it. Why not? Okay, and as you probably just noticed, um, the default settings have the WSAD set up for movement. Um, I'm not used to this, so you may actually see me pause or move awkwardly during this video. Um, I do know from playing around with the game, you can actually change the settings, which I'm probably going to do later. Um, change just like the arrow keys or something like that. Um, hmm. Now, in order to actually attack in this game, you actually use the left click button on the mouse um, that allows you to shoot and the game also has like an auto firing feature so you can actually hold down left click and just shoot um, basically automatically Now, as you can tell, this is a tutorial stage. Um, it kind of just drops you in and teaches you along the way as you move. Like, for your first lesson is essentially move with the WASD keys, and then they give you a couple of corridors to strike through. Then they basically tell you how to shoot, etc. And then eventually you get to your first mock boss before actually going off to the real stage. You'll actually see in this video, you'll see a tutorial stage you'll see an example of an actual dungeon and then you'll be transported to a field with other players and possibly later on you would see the um, the lobby in this game Oh, and I forgot to mention, the only reason why I'm not using Fraps for this video is because Fraps, for some reason, does not install a global hook around this one. So, I was forced to use Bandicam, and right now I'm just using the free license before I decide to buy it. Because I, I really hate having other people's war marks on my videos, so hopefully this is the only one you'll see. While playing this game, I only have like one serious question. Is there only one entire track for the entire game? I mean, it's not that there's anything wrong with the background music for the game so far. I would just really hate if this same song kept playing over and over and over, you know what I mean? Um, you know, if anyone's gotten far in this game, just let me know if this is like the only track. 
Please tell me no. Also, I just wanted to note that there's no actual escape key in this game. Like, there's no option to hit exit and leave the perpetual world in this game. Everything is auto-saved, so if you just wanted to exit the game, you just close out the window as normal. It's pretty strange, but, um, yeah, that's how you would just leave. You don't have to worry about saving. Everything's saved for you.